So I was recently listening to Dave Meltzer again and he noted that WWE is planning to do some trades between Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania 33. And I really think that is a great idea because that will change up a lot of storylines. We're going to get a lot of fresh feuds and I really like the idea of it. Now I figured I would do a top 10 list pointing out the top 10 WWE superstars that I think should change the brand. Um, of course, these are all based on my personal opinions. Uh, if you want to let me know yours, uh, make sure to do so in the comment section below or just go over to Twitter and tweet me there. Uh, if you follow me and tweet me something, I'll make sure to follow you back on there. So starting off with the list, I would have the New Day go to SmackDown Live. Why? Because the New Day has pretty much beaten every tag team on Monday Night Raw. We made them the hosts for WrestleMania because pretty much they have nothing in mind for them storyline wise. So why don't you put the New Day on SmackDown? There's a lot of things the New Day could do on SmackDown. They could go against American Alpha. I really would like to see that program. I think that could be pretty good. Then you could kind of restart the feud they had with the Wyatts because the, that feud kind of got cut short by the brand split. And you know, there are a lot of possibilities actually what you can do with the New Day on Raw. I mean, how many times do have we seen Gallows and Anderson versus the New Day, uh, Sheamus and Cesaro versus the New Day, Enzo and Cass against the New Day, and what else is there, the Shining Stars or the Golden Truth? I think there's really nothing left for the New Days unless you want to split them up, which they of course don't because they sell a lot of merchandise. So why don't you put the New Day on SmackDown? I think that would be a great way to kind of have a storyline for them going and that's why I have the New Day on SmackDown. Now a guy that I would have go from SmackDown to Raw is Dolph Ziggler and I've been really disappointing in the booking of Dolph Ziggler lately. I really thought the whole Apollo Crews Kalisto feud was to kind of establish Dolph as a heel. But Dolph looks even worse now as a heel than he did as a babyface and I didn't even think that was possible. Because just l let's look at the Battle Royal on SmackDown. He got eliminated by Apollo Crews. Okay, uh, granted he got elim he did eliminate Kalisto, but he got eliminated by Apollo Crews, then kind of distracted him because he was beating Kalisto up with the chair. Then uh, uh, Crews got thrown out and then Dolph went after Crews and Crews again um, got the upper hand and chased Dolph out of the arena. And I mean, how did that make Dolph look? I mean, what were they thinking with that? I don't really know. I think that that whole feud maybe got Apollo Crews more over than it did Dolph and it was supposed to be a feud for Dolph Ziggler I think. So I don't really know. Dolph had a pretty good start on Smackdown Live then they kind of let him fall down the card again and he kind of went up again with the feud with Miz. Then they let him fall again and I think now he's at an all time low pretty much. So I would really have Dolph Ziggler go over to Raw. I don't really know if it would be better there for him. But he just needs a change again. And if that's going to Raw, maybe there's something that Dolph can do that is of importance. And that's why I would have Dolph Ziggler go to Raw. Then we also gotta get some women picks in here. And I would have Camella go to Raw. And why would I do that? Because Camella could pretty much go back and um, be with Enzo and Cass. I think that would be really awesome. What she's doing now with Ellsworth is not really necessary, it's like not really that good at all. So why don't you put her with Enzo and Cass again? I think that would make the Enzo and Cass act a bit harder again. And I think that would work out very well. There's really nothing much that Camilla does on SmackDown anyways. So I would have her go over to Monday Night Raw. And then coming from Monday Night Raw, I would have Sasha Banks go to SmackDown. Why would I do that? I just don't want to see Sasha Banks against Charlotte anymore. I'm so sick of that. We just had it again on Raw and I really, I just don't want to see it anymore. You call that, you would really call that a women's revolution? All we saw on Raw since the brand split is Sasha, Charlotte and now Bailey added in there. That's pretty much, that describes the women's revolution on Raw since the brand split. I mean, what is, they have been kind of trading the belt around and that was pretty much it. You know, there were kind of two things that WWE tried to get over on the fans. 
One thing was Roman Reigns, the other thing was the Women's Revolution. With the Women's Revolution it worked, with Reigns it didn't. Both are kind of the same things to me. Really sucks, and that's why I would have Sasha go over to SmackDown, have some fresh fruit. Some fresh fruits? I mean, that would be good as well, but I mean feuds, of course. And I also have two smaller picks here. I have Sin Cara going to SmackDown Live, because Sin Cara, he's not on Raw at all, pretty much. I don't know if that has anything to do with the backstage heat he got, but why don't you put Sin Cara over to SmackDown and team him up against with Kalisto? I mean, the Lucha Dragons were a pretty good tag team, and I think the SmackDown tag team division could kind of use that. But why would you have... So why would you just waste Kalisto and uh, Sin Cara if you could have them make an awesome tag team? So I think that would be really awesome and that's why I would have Sin Cara go over to SmackDown and have him team up with Kalisto again. Then also I would have James Ellsworth go over to Raw. Now since Kamala would be going over to Raw, I would have James Ellsworth go over with her and I think Making like a little feud with Ellsworth, Enzo and Cass would be really fun because storyline wise Ellsworth is together with Kamala kinda, I don't really know what that is all about. But yeah, in real life Kamala is together with Big Cass. So I think that would make for a really fun, maybe more comedy storyline. But I think that would be really awesome. And I just want to see Ellsworth Strowman segments on, on Raw. I always love these like little backstage skits they did. And I think that would be really awesome. So Ellsworth is not really an essential part of the SmackDown roster. So have him go over to Monday Night Raw. And now we get to the two most important picks in my opinion. And I would have Cesaro go to SmackDown. And Cesaro, if he would go to SmackDown, I think Cesaro would be guaranteed to be pushed directly into the main event scene. Because Cesaro is such an awesome wrestler and SmackDown would know how to utilize him. Now they could of course also get Sami Zayn. A lot of people want Sami Zayn to go to SmackDown. But I really do enjoy Sami Zayn's role on Raw lately. So I would keep him on Monday Night Raw and have Cesaro go over. Because Cesaro is pretty much doing nothing again now. And Cesaro is such an awesome wrestler. Just imagine the matches he could have with AJ Styles. I think those are 5 star classics there that they could do. Man, that would be awesome. Cesaro over to SmackDown, like I said, I think they would know how to utilize him and push him directly into the main event. Cesaro would be a big star on SmackDown, which he isn't on Monday Night Raw. And finally, going from SmackDown to Raw, I have Dean Ambrose, and Cesaro could really kind of take Dean Ambrose's spot on SmackDown, because Dean Ambrose is kind of between the main event and mid-card, kind of pending around there, and Cesaro would be awesome to take that place. And that would really bring Cesaro to the next level. And Ambrose on Raw would be great. Because obviously we have Rollins and Reigns on Raw. And with the whole rumors of the Triple H stable he's going to do. The new evolution he's planning to do. With uh, Kevin Owens and Samoa Joe and someone else will be in it. Dem versus The Shield. That is money. That is money. And I think WWE also knows that. And I think Ambrose on Raw would be really awesome and I think having the shield back on Raw could make Raw so and I mean so much better. Raw has been terrible. I mean the last episode I watched I fell asleep. It was awful but Raw really needs something and I mean Ambrose going back reuniting the shield going against Triple H stable. I think that would be absolutely awesome and that's why my final pick here is Ambrose going to Raw. And that pretty much wraps it up here for my list. I hope you kind of did enjoy it. A more like wrestling talk video that I want to do more in the future. Uh, don't worry, those won't replace the wrestling figure videos. I just don't have anything really to do uh, related to wrestling figures. So I figured I would give you guys an upload still for this Friday. And I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. If you want to support the channel a bit, there are some great ways listed in the description below. So if you want to do that, really appreciate it as well. Um, I will be back with another video this weekend for sure. I'm still going to figure out what I'm going to do. But there will be definitely another upload this weekend. And yeah guys, I hope you all will be enjoying your weekend. 
And yeah, follow me on social media. Links to that are all in the description below. You guys know that kind of stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one.